right guys, we're gonna do a quick setup for the uh, the runt. And uh, basically, uh, for this system here is with the GoPro. And just, this video is just kind of to help you guys uh, get the initial setup just right. Um, this CG is about five, a good starting point is about five inches from the nose. So about here uh, is where I marked it. And then you can go just a hair forward and that'll get you a good, um, a good area to lock down the CG. Now, here's where the CG line is right here. And you can kind of see it wants to nose down a little bit. That's good. So you can kind of see it. So technically the CG is about four, four and seven eighths. But at the marks, you want it to nose down just a little bit. So that's your initial setup. Now, if you want, um, you can use my videos and my uh, my pictures to kind of use it as uh, use it as as a reference. Um, but it's pretty much that's how it sits. This battery and the 5200 milliamp Multistar battery works really good. Um, they are a few uh, grams in difference uh, in weight, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, but other than that, it, it'll do just fine. Um, and then your for your control surfaces, uh, your movements. So you can kind of see how much reflex you have there on this. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully the video is picking up. I can't really tell. But we have a little bit of uh, reflex there. And even when we control, you see how much movement you need? And that's because... The wing itself, it doesn't really need a lot. And this is just kind of cruising. And then we have, this is our highs. This is, this is crazy right here. Um, and then mediums and lows. Now for a Tyrannus um, system, I think I'm about, I'm about uh, eight. You could start at 10. 10 is a good number to start if you have a FR Sky system. And that'll get you kind of locked down. Um, so start there, uh, for the mini quad guys who are getting, who are just starting and they want something to, to learn off of. Uh, it's a very, um, it's a very good wing. It's small, uh, and it's, it's, it can take the impact extremely well. Um, when you put the spars in, uh, for experienced pilots or operators, you don't have to put the full spars in. Um, and that's only because you guys are a little bit more familiar with flying. Um, so you don't have to. Uh, you can. And then string, believe it or not, string works pretty good. I just uh, Gorilla Glue it inside um, some of the part, parts where uh, the wings usually tear. And that's right here in the back. Um, and it tears, it's, it's just, it, all wings tear. Um, and it's mainly going to be in the back. So a little piece of string back here and then glue it, uh, Gorilla Glue, is going to help. So um, I'll try to... Uh, give you guys a rundown as best I can and show you um, uh, all there is but this is the setup is here is for a GoPro um, waiting to see if a cop's gonna come and stop me because I'm I'm at a dead end there's nobody here but sometimes they, they come and stop me um, I have a little bit of time to fly today so uh, if your servos all you need is uh, cheap uh, six no these are nine gram servos are the turnigy ones um, not too expensive. I usually buy like four because they're so cheap and then if you strip one, if you do go down, it's really easy to replace and it, it, just keeping everything relatively inexpensive like the ESC, um, keep it cheap. Like I think they're like 12 bucks and it's the um, ZTW Spider, the 40 amp ESCs. Uh, they, they are opto so you will need a BEC to power your receiver. Um, and then the motor is like 20 bucks, so it's all relatively cheap. Um, the frames are just kind of um, uh, small and compact, and they, they do a really good job. So,
right guys well here's the uh the runt after i just went down uh it would appear that i clipped the tree you can see right here <laughs> i got i got i got part of them so that's good um all right guys here's the uh the multi-star 5200 milliamp uh three cell and it's just enough but you guys can i'll do a launch that way you guys can see it, um it flying but it will fit i had to take the the goggles off because the camera's um, just just bad. It works. I mean, but I don't know. I'm thinking I'm gonna sw swap it out for like a mini PZO 420. So, anyways, let's do line of sight that way you, can, you guys can see it. Uh, again, I'm at uh, mid rate, so we'll see. Hopefully, you guys can see from there. <laughs> looking behind me. You think it's gonna be the popo -po on me. Alright so this is the 5200 milliamp battery. As you can see it's flying pretty good. Nice and nice and easy. A very slow pace. So I'm just below 50% throttle, so I'll cruise by or try to. So, I can only imagine how long you're going to be flying with this, uh, with the 5200 milliamp pack in this little guy. So, um, yeah, it's freaking tiny. Tell if I'm blocking it. All right, where's the camera at? Let's see if we can bring it in for a, a landing. You can kind of see it gliding out there. And usually when I get down low, so that was actually a really bad landing because it was so far away and now I gotta walk there. 